thank you for coming back to my channel. I'm Stephanie, if you're new here. Today we are going to be doing a grocery haul. This one is a lot bigger than my last one that I did. And this is because I had to get some stuff that I'm kind of using through the month with my air fryer videos and then also like treats and stuff for Elf on the Shelf. I got some stuff like that in there. Also things that we usually use on a regular basis. So some of this stuff I'll kind of go over and then I will tell you what we use it for and then changes that I have because um, there's some stuff in here that I got a little different than usual. And also I will leave in the description down below how much it costed for the this grocery haul and with this one i did a walmart pickup order so everything on here is what i was able to pick on my uh walmart app to do this um i like doing it there was i think three substitute things that got changed and they were what they usually do. If you guys didn't see my last video, I'll kind of just go over it quick again. What they do is if they cannot find what you want, they will give you a different product, the same product, but a different brand or whatever. And they'll give it to you for the price, the same price that the other product was. They don't ever charge you more. And then if there's something that isn't available, they'll credit you back um what you spent so you don't have to worry about things getting messed up and then you don't get you know that another question i get from a lot of people is um the vegetables and the fruit like the quality of it have i ever had like issues with any of that and i have not um everything that i've gotten so far has been fresh and i haven't seen anything bad with any of it but I will turn you guys around and I will show you everything that we got. And then I'll also go over the fruit and stuff and show you uh, the quality of that and um, show you that it's pretty good. So I'm going to, let's see, I'll probably start like over here first and then work my way around to the other stuff over here. So we're going to start over with the cereal first. We are kind of at the beginning of the month where... I try to do like this first, like a big grocery right away in the beginning of the month. Now we kind of were like running out of stuff. So I want to kind of get a lot of it now. Okay, one of the things that I don't usually get and I haven't got since maybe I was little or maybe when we went camping or something is these little breakfast uh, or cereal boxes. I think my kids are gonna really like these. I don't remember the price that I spent. I just remember when we were younger that they were kind of expensive. I got two boxes of these. I got, um, these have like Apple Jacks, Cocoa Krispies, and um, pretty much everything that my kids like. And that is, that's an eight pack. This one also is an eight pack. And this one has a lot of the other stuff that we eat. We always have Lucky Charms, Cinnamon Toast, Cocoa Puffs, and Cheerios. Um, so this was perfect because this is exactly what, what we eat. For the cereal, we have Life. We don't always get the, this one that often, um, but I know a lot of us like it. We always get this kind, this, we like this one a lot. Uh, Declan really likes Lucky Charms, so most of the time he's the one that usually asks for that. Um, for Cinnamon Toast Crunch, everybody likes this kind. I have some Cheerios. You got, you'll kind of see from these that we have like the bigger version. I just thought it would be fun for the kids to have something like that. And then Reese's Puffs, Frosted Mini Wheats the peanut butter crunch we have the fruit loops and we also have frosted flakes so with some of the cereal my kids will add strawberries and stuff to the cereal i'm going to start here with some of the frozen stuff that we get me and a couple kids like the popcorn shrimp so i got a box of that 
We eat waffles almost every, I shouldn't even say almost every morning. We eat waffles every single morning. So I have two packs of them. I think we even still have some in the house too because we can never like go without waffles. This brand of crispy chicken strips. We don't always get this kind. Um, we usually get like the Walmart brand or the Great Value, but um, I saw this on there, so I decided to get that. And then we have the Chicken Nuggets, um, Great Value brand. We also have the Crispy, or another bag of Crispy Chicken Strips, so I have two of them. I have the Season fries, sprinkle cut fries. I have two of them because we always have like fries and stuff with our uh, chicken nuggets and stuff. And then I have one thing of toaster strudels. Usually I get more than that, um, but I don't think we've been going through them as much as we were in my last video. We I had like multiple boxes and stuff. So I have Jack's Pizza. This is pretty much for me because, and maybe the twins will eat it too, because uh, we are the only ones that like stuff like this. So this one is a little different. Otherwise, my kids usually just get like plain pizzas. Uh, this is a different one too. I saw it on there and I thought it looked pretty good. So I'm going to give this a try. Um, this is another one that I thought seemed pretty good because I think it has like stuffed crust. So I was kind of excited. It's Buffalo style chicken pizza. Uh, we always lately have been getting Red Baron. A lot of the kids like that. Um, I have another Red Baron. And then um, we have the cheese Red Baron or two cheeses and then a home run. I have uh, some kids that like the home run pizza. So I'll put them back there. And then over here we have, what do we have? One, two, three, four things of breadsticks. We usually do two. We could almost get away with three um, at a meal. And then because there's only six of them in a box. And then we always make these with spaghetti. And then one of the things that I'll just kind of add this quick is we get the Olive Garden Italian dressing and we like to put our breadsticks in with that. So that is really yummy together. Okay, uh, let's see what else I can show you. All right, so I'm gonna move over to the meat that I got this time. Uh, my last haul, I didn't have a lot of meat on it because that was kind of like an off month, but this time I got some extra stuff. Okay, we always have bacon pretty much on the weekends or whenever uh, Gage wants to make it and when we have it. I have this chicken. I We have our own chicken that uh, we kind of butchered this year but I needed this really quick to do uh, air fryer video. So that's why I have that. And then I have one, two, three, four, five, uh, one pound hamburger. I have some chicken. Sometimes when I do the grocery haul, they don't offer like sandwich meat that's um, from the deli with chicken. Otherwise they do offer where you can get deli meat, but it's just the chicken for some reason, I can't, I can't get it that way. Um, this one is ham off the bone. And then I also got turkey. I think they're both one pound. And then I always get this kind of roast when I put it in our slow cooker. So I put this can of Dr. Pepper, and then seasonings on top, like seasoning salt, salt and pepper and stuff. And then we like it uh, in the slow cooker. We've tried it in the Instapot, but we like it in the slow cooker a lot better. And then I have, uh, these are the chicken breast tenderloins. I have two of them. Usually what we do with these is we cook them up, cut them in pieces, and then we eat it with rice and soy sauce. Um, a lot of my kids won't let me like 
or I shouldn't say wouldn't let me. They don't like it mixed with like vegetables to make it uh, like a stir fry or anything. So we do a lot of the vegetables on the side. And then we have one, two things of wraps. My kids like to put Nutella on top with a banana in there and roll them up. We also do cheese wraps and tacos with them. Um, this I haven't gotten in a while. I think my, I should have gotten another one because this is kind of small. But uh, the kids really like it when we do cheese and crackers. And with um, Christmas and stuff coming up, it's kind of nice to have little treats like that during the holidays. But I do maybe, I should probably get another one because I don't think this is going to be enough for us. And then um, I'll come back to the yogurt after. But that's what we have for meat. Okay, um, for cheese. So... This is cheese that we usually get on a regular basis. Um, I know a lot of people that are watching my video know that I, we love cheese, this kind of cheese with our chips. So we always get this. Gage likes this kind of cheese, so we'll pick up a couple cans of these and I have two cans of them. Gage just heats them up on the stove and then eats it that way. I also got two cans of the Cheese Whiz, Declan really likes these with Ritz crackers and so do some of the other kids. So when we have like our sausage and cheese, we can add that to it. Um, I have one jar of salsa. The only reason why I have one jar is we would either get one can or two cans. And another thing that you can make with this is if you take like, a, I don't know how many pounds, maybe like two or three pounds of chicken, um, maybe like four chicken breasts and then with this in the slow cooker and then shred it up You can have it on the wraps and stuff. It's really good that way, too um, And we have Kobe and Monterey Jack. This is gonna be for like the crackers So I'll probably cut these up in smaller pieces. I have the mild cheddar and then provolone, I have provolone because we are going to be making sandwiches with the um, deli meat. Uh, I have cream cheese spread. Miles eats this on bagels. The twins just started eating it, so uh, I try to get this every once in a while. The kids have been asking for French onion dip. We take the French onion dip. If you guys saw my this year's camping video I did a little like pick up haul on there too and I said that we eat um, spicy chips with this my sister showed us that and it's really good um, I have two bags of taco blend because we always have tacos I have Monterey Jack shredded because we put them on wraps and then we also have mozzarella cheese because we do quesadillas and stuff like that every once in a while and then I have some, a little bit of sour cream. I'm going to be mixing with the sour cream a packet of ranch. You put this together and you mix it up and then this is a vegetable dip. It is really, really good. If you guys mix like maybe like two batches of it, it's really good for like um, gatherings and you know, holiday time and stuff like that. So it's really good. And then we also have Parmesan cheese, we like to add this to our salads. And our spaghetti, we always like the coarse stuff a little bit better. Um, I have another thing of sour cream. And then I have two things of strawberries with sugar. And um, we get this and then we put it in the fridge and they add it to their waffles. And I don't know if they've been using that for their cereal, but uh, you could probably add it to your cereal also. And then over here, I have one box of elbow noodles. Um, I don't know if I got spaghetti noodles this time, but I know that we needed this because I'm going to be making chili again and I needed it for that. I have another jar of cheese, um, queso, so we love chips and cheese. And I have a couple packs of Taco Gage likes the Great Value brand, so we usually use them. And then I have another pack of that ranch. And then I have uh, three packs of chili mix. I usually use the white, ch white chicken chili 
packs, but they didn't have it um, on there to offer. So I add this to our chili when I make it. And then let's see. Okay, we're gonna work, work our way around here. Or actually, I'm gonna come back up here. We have Natilla, my kids eat this every day, almost every day on waffles and, um, and the wraps when they make it with bananas. I kind of messed up on this one. I meant to get regular raisins, but the kids are kind of excited to try this because they're yogurt raisins. The kids are gonna like that. Okay, I have two cans of sweetened condensed, whoops, sweetened condensed milk, and then two regular graham cracker crust. Um, it's just easier for me to get stuff like this because with cooking lately, it just doesn't seem like um, I can do a lot of like making a lot of it by myself. Um, it's just faster this way. So with this, I'm going to be making key lime pie. I also have my lime juice. I used to use regular limes, but I found mixing this with the condensed milk and everything. I think it's like eight eggs and a can of this and some of this, and then you just whip it together and you put it in the oven for a little bit. If I remember, I'll leave the recipe down below if you guys are interested in this. And then I also will maybe write some stuff down in the description of some of the stuff that I already went over, like the Nutella wraps and some of the other stuff that we like to mix together. All right, and then we have some bacon bits. Miles really likes salads, so he likes to add this. And then they recently started making um, they tried omelets and stuff and they put that in there. So that's another thing with our cheese. Um, they just kind of started liking that. So with omelets. Another thing that you probably will never maybe see on our grocery haul is eggs because we have chickens and that's where we get our eggs from. Um, we ran out of this. This is what I make my caramel iced coffees with. It's the sweet cream. Um, Cold Stone Creamer. This one is like perfect. If you guys want, go check out my um, Starbucks caramel iced coffee video. I'll try to leave it down below and you guys can follow that I too. have some whipped cream and we add this to our waffles if the kids use the strawberries. Otherwise, uh, we only put a little bit on their waffles if they add like Nutella and other stuff. I just don't like them using that. All right, so we ran out of the caramel coffee. I think we only had one left and I ended up getting two this time. But when I was on there, I saw this and I was like, well, I'm kind of excited for this. So this one is toasted malt and baking ch chocolate um, blonde roast. Try and see if we can make some stuff out of it. Me and Hudson usually like more of like, um, other kind of coffees like fun stuff so i was kind of excited to find this stuff and then i also found a vanilla so i'm kind of really excited about this one um because this is gonna be different this will be fun uh with some of the mixes we'll also try to maybe even make this with our iced coffee okay and then i got uh strawberry cream cheese i thought with miles having bagels and stuff that he might want to try this i might have even got it once before but i don't remember um, for him, but I think the kids are going to like that. And then I have two tubs of vanilla grape value yogurt. My kids add baby M&Ms to this, or they do baby or mini chocolate chips in their yogurt, or, um, you can add like fruit and stuff on top. All right. So this is the first time that I've gotten this kind of yogurt i think it's vanilla i found a recipe and i stated on my amazon video that i got a different all different kind of like nuts and stuff to go in with some um i'm trying to think of what it's called almond butter i think peanut butter wait almond butter some almond butter to go in uh with the yogurt also and I didn't get to try it yet, but I'm excited to try that out with um, the nuts and stuff that I got to go in there. If I remember, I'll try to leave that down below. Otherwise, check out my Amazon video. I'll maybe leave it like, I'll leave it up above or something and you guys can 
check that video out and that kind of goes over a lot of that uh with how to make that yogurt and then i usually buy these once in a while but this is similar to what we do with this it's just this is cheaper than getting these so i have two of them and then i have one of these so sometimes the kids will like crunch up oreos and put it in their yogurt and then over here in my last video i stated that we really like this kind the almond coco loco um this one is one that i either eat like at nighttime before i go to bed or like a treat in the day we like that these are only a dollar so then i i try to like stock up on these and they only give me so many when i do the pickup order but when i go in the store i kind of grab as many as they have just because we like it so much because we like it so much and then I, we also accidentally got this i think in my last order it's the coffee brownie bliss and i think the kids like this one so i didn't try it yet so i don't know how it is but i ended up getting a couple of them uh, for the ones that weren't able to uh try it so i have what do i have one two three four five six seven eight nine i think ten of that kind of yogurt so i think that's it for yogurt um oh and then i also have the gogurts the kids like that too so that one is what is it let's see i have the berry bounty and cherry galaxy so that's the kind that we got sometimes the kids like the sour patch ones every once in a while i'll get that too all right as for milk, we always usually get like four gallons. Um, if we had a place that we could get like maybe six or seven, that would be great because we go through a lot. But the way our refrigerator is set up, we're not, it doesn't, there's not a lot of space for us to put more. We do have two refrigerators, but the one that we use in the house is used for our basic everyday stuff and then the one out in the garage is used for like storing all our other stuff so we don't always have a lot of room in there and then i got a chocolate milk we don't always get chocolate milk it's just kind of a treat once in a while uh the kids like to do that otherwise they'll try to use the chocolate fudge and um make their own chocolate milk I have the bottles of Dr. Pepper cream. They didn't have the, oh, this is regular. Okay. I didn't know if this was diet. Usually I get diet Dr. Pepper lately and they haven't been having the cream for diet. So I ended up just getting these and that's okay. I, a lot of people that maybe are watching know that I get Dr. Pepper pretty much like every time that I go grocery shopping. So that's pretty much my go-to drink. Every once in a while, I'll get some for the kids, like a treat. So I have this, and they didn't have the diet in cans, so I'm kind of sad. Maybe if I go to the store, I'll look. And then I also have another thing of Dr. Pepper. I saw this on there, Dr. Pepper, or Dr. Thunder Cherry. I wanted to try that out because that seems like that would be kind of yummy. Um, and these are a lot cheaper. I think they're only like 68 cents or something like that. So this would probably be cheaper than, than doing this. But I like drinking out of a can too. So this isn't always like something I would go to. And then I got um, cranberry juice. Eli likes having the cranberry juice and some of the other kids. Um, but I only get this once in a while also. And then, okay, so over here, I'm just going to sneak this out. Gage will make waffles in the waffle maker. And so he usually uses um, the kind that you just kind of quick add, what is it, just water or whatever. So I have two of these um, complete waffle mixes. And then back here, I have a big, I think I have two bags of barbecue chips. Last time I bought barbecue chips, it was like one bag and it got like devoured in like no time so this time i got two and i don't always get potato chips so not this kind anyways i don't usually and then i have this the kids were asking for this kind for the uh the french onion dip and then these are the chips that i was talking about that we add to the french onion dip also it is so good every time my sister comes she kind of like either picks it up or if we don't have it or whatever, it is so good. All right, 
So I have for our sandwiches that we are gonna have either tomorrow, maybe tomorrow. And then um, this is the sliced kind of ready. And this one we have to slice. So I have three loaves of bread. And then I have the bagels that Miles likes to use. I have two things of hamburger buns. Gage likes to make hamburger patties and then we put them in the air fryer. If I remember, I'll leave the recipe on how we make our hamburgers, um, but we usually always put it in the air fryer lately now that it's winter. We just use that instead of starting up the grill. Uh, as for crackers, I have chicken and a biscuit. Everybody likes these. I don't usually get the Teddy Grahams, but I saw that on there, so I was like, I'm just gonna get one of them. And then the kids, I don't know, it was maybe like a couple months ago I saw these, and uh, they like these, but I don't get these always either. And then I have some Ritz crackers for the sausage and cheese uh, when we make that. And then I also have a big thing of goldfish because we go through, with the kids like goldfish too. Um, but otherwise, I think that is everything. I think I covered everything. Oh, no, I didn't. Hold on one second. Okay, so I'm gonna come back over here now and I'm gonna go over the fruits and vegetables with you guys. I ended up getting a watermelon this time. I got a cantaloupe. I usually only get like one or two because by the time we cut it up, sometimes they end up going bad. So I try to um, get small at first when it comes to that. Bananas, we always are using bananas. Um, with the celery this time, I'm going to be cutting these up in tiny pieces and then I can either give them with peanut butter or put it in that sour cream with the ranch pack. It's really good with that. And then I got carrots for the same reason. I have two onions here because I use an onion, like a half an onion for our chili. So I'll be using that. I have a bag of grapes. I have three pears. Uh, we don't usually get these on a regular basis, but I'm gonna cut them up and see if the kids like them. So if they like them, then I'll end up getting them, you know, more often. And then I have some Honeycrisp apples. The kids like this kind. I think there might be another one that we get also, but it's usually this this kind of Honeycrisp. I have a package of lettuce. Um, that'll be for salad. Uh, we usually get the other kind too, but lately we've just been getting um, this, this kind right here. And then I have these little um, cuties here. The kids get these every once in a while or ask for them. All right, so what else? So I have the grapes and the grapes, um, the grapes look pretty good. So they didn't like give me a pack that's bad or anything and even underneath they look pretty good. And then for strawberries, I have two things of strawberries and these look pretty good too. Even underneath they look good. I have, um, I didn't really want these. I wanted to get like the full onion, but uh, they didn't have that. It was not available. So, so I'll be cutting these up and then we like it on our salads. I have a package of blueberries. Um, I got a small thing of pineapple. I don't usually do this because it's more expensive, but I just did it for kind of a quick treat. I got a small thing of raspberries. Usually I get a bigger one. I just didn't, I guess, realize that it was a small one. And then I have two things of broccoli and I probably could have got a little bit more. So now I know next time I can order more because this is kind of not enough for us. So that is pretty much like all the grocery stuff. Now as for like treats, um, the reason why I have candy this time is because we do Elf on the Shelf the whole month of December and Elf leaves treats behind. So we'll be tying some of these candies and stuff to Elf on the Shelf. I don't know if my kids have ever tried these before, but I saw it on there and I thought that would be kind of fun uh, for the kids to try. Uh, Smarties, I got a whole pack of Smarties, and then two things of Sour Patch. I thought these were gonna be the bigger ones, they're just kinda like mini ones, um, but I'll try to figure out something to do with that. And then a package of chocolate. I got two things of Jolly Ranchers, 
And then I got a thing of Starburst. So this will be like kind of tied in with e.l.f. Um, I'm also going to have videos on that and you guys will probably see some of that in that video. Okay, so hopefully you guys like that. I, if there's anything that you guys have like questions on or what I make with what, um, with some of the stuff that we have, I'll try to leave a lot of that down in the description on what we mix together or why I'm using certain things and that key lime pie recipe, I'll try to leave that down below. And then I'll leave some links for the other videos that you guys can check out, like my Amazon haul, my other grocery haul, and then my caramel iced coffee. You guys can watch that. When I'll leave all of that down in the description. I'll leave the total of how much this all costed. And then um, I'm probably going to do this maybe like once a month and share with you guys the things that I'm getting because in the next couple months is when our birthdays start and um, there'll be a lot of like birthday stuff added in to our grocery haul. So that'll be fun. And then, um, but I think... That's pretty much it that I wanted to share with you guys today. If you guys like these, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up because that lets me know that you guys enjoy this kind of video. Um, if you guys have any other ideas like another grocery haul or another kind of haul that you guys would be interested in, let me know down in the description and maybe we could uh, do something like that. But otherwise, hopefully you guys like today's video. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.